So welcome to another bad food vlog. Sorry, I accidentally put the dishwasher on, so this is definitely bad. Um, that's the noise you can hear in the background. So what we're gonna be doing is, well, basically homemade chicken noodle. So this is gonna be more like a stir fry noodle with uh, celery, a yellow pepper, it could be green or red, wouldn't make any difference to the flavor, onion, and frozen chicken. So. First thing I'm going to do, as is the way, is uh, let's cook the chicken. Now, I don't kind of like it like that, so we need to put some spices on it. I'll be back in a sec with the spices. And here are the spices I'm going to place on it. A Chinese five spices, garlic, black pepper. I'm going to pour that straight on this. Then I'm going to take this, put it in the microwave, and uh, nuke it for about four or five minutes. We're then going to finish it off in the pan, we're gonna boil the noodles, cut up the vegetables, and they're gonna burn, they can cook those in the pan along with the chicken for a while, then throw in the noodles, add some soy sauce and a few more spices, and we'll have our sort of stir fry noodle dish. Okay, let's get on with the preparation. There we go, I have liberally applied the ingredients to the outside of the chicken. I'm gonna microwave the chicken for a few minutes and then turn it over. Let's get on with that, shall we? Whoa, chicken nearly gone everywhere. Glad this isn't good food, blog. Now, I could do all this defrosting stuff, but let's face it, it's one portion of chicken. Cooking chicken in the microwave keeps it fairly moist, so I'm gonna go for about three minutes. I'll probably pull it out after about a minute and a half to two minutes and turn it over. Okay, on with the chopping and preparation. So I'm uh, chopping the vegetables. I don't have a special way of doing an onion, I'm afraid. A lot of people claim you can cut down on the amount you cry, but uh, I'm just using an extremely sharp knife. I cut both ends off. I put a, I put a slice down on a, uh, I would call it a longitudinal axis. We're gonna get scientifically technical about it. And then peel off the outside layer of skin. Have to have a little bit of fingernails to do that. Then, longitudinal cut, a few dissection cuts, and then obviously the grain of the onion does a lot of the work for you because after you've done the horizontal cuts like this through it, the vertical cuts you then do turn it into nice little cubes because of the layering of the onion. This is going to happen whichever way you cut the end, to be honest. So, let's get a small bowl to put that in. Now, the chicken's at that stage where it starts to smell quite good. Not fantastic, but still okay. But, uh... Now, celery be quite important to give the celery a quick wash. It's not going to sound very important, but uh, you should wash all of them. But you will often find mud on celery. I was saying that celery doesn't really suit this kind of activity. I'd have to disagree. I think celery suits stir fry absolutely fine. Well, that chicken starts to smell good. I have to turn it over, I think. Mm, maybe in a bit. There we go. Now, how to cut a pepper. I'm gonna go with the really quick method of slamming your very sharp knife around the stalk and then prying it out like that. Then put your finger in, loose, tap out any of the uh, leftover seeds, cut it in half, and then just start slicing. Oops, sorry, you can't see that. Then just start slicing. Because this meal probably could do with smaller bits of pepper, and you don't want to leave big bits of pepper because, you know, let's be honest, pepper is hard to digest, and if you leave large pieces of pepper, you're still gonna have them once you've digested the food. The skin of a pepper contains an enzyme and a waxy substance which completely prevents it 
from being digested. And the worst part is the flesh of pepper tastes really nice. You can obviously see where it was going for its seed deposits there, can't you? So as it looks nice and cool, it has large bits of pepper. No one really wants large bits of pepper in their food. Okay, let's go and have a look at how the chicken's done. Sorry, finger in the way of the camera there. Ah, as you can see, it needs turning over. It's quite hot, which is good. Hmm. Nope. Oh. Let's flip it over. Put it back in the microwave. Microwaves always tend to cook in one direction, depending on yours, your results may vary. About one more minute. Right, let's pause this while I go and get some stuff ready. So, pan of water, boiling, not quite yet, and a frying pan. Gonna need a bit more light for this, aren't I? There we go. So, pan of water, boiling, probably quite soon and pan for the oil. Now, am I going to put this in before the water boils? No, it'll taste awful. Can I put these in before the pan gets hot? Yeah, they'll tell me when it gets hot. Here we go. And the onion. As you can see, this is three of your five a day. Okay, you can return to this when it gets a little hotter. Then the convection currents in the water look really cool. I hope this is picking them up. It appears to be, so it's amazing. And the little lens is made by the drop of oil I put in to stop the pasta sticking together. Quite fantastic. Look, that's the Chinese five spices on top of the food as it starts to fry. I wouldn't recommend you do this with a very good camera, but this is my old Samsung Note 4, which, you know, I'm going to replace with probably either a Google Pixel or a OnePlus 3T. Thinking about the Google at the moment, but the uh, stuff with the camera at the moment isn't giving me much confidence. Camera is important to me. So here's what I was adding to the vegetables as they're cooking. You can see garlic, cayenne pepper, and black pepper. Looks quite nice, but there's one more ingredient we need to put in. That is the dark soy sauce. So let's get on with the dark soy sauce. One thing I love about dark soy sauce is, you know, dark soy sauce and light soy sauce are about the same thing, just with, you know, a slightly different amount of water in. So you buy the dark one, it's much more efficient for cooking. Mmm, that's really starting to smell good as well. Mmm, I gotta give that a big stir, so I'll see you in a minute. Well, the now mostly cooked um, chicken has come out of the microwave. And you know what? It's just unceremoniously put it in the middle of there. I made a space for it for beforehand. Oh, there's some nice spices and juices on the top of that. It's a shame. But it's gone straight in the pan with the chicken. So, the chicken is probably cooked most of the way through, but just to make sure it's finished off, I'm going to put it in with the vegetables. Stick a nice big lid on it. Make sure it's cooked on both sides. Oh, and as you can see, the water. There's a lot of steam now. That oily lens. It is time for. There we go. In goes that. That is the egg noodles, medium egg noodles. Okay, see you in a minute. After a few minutes being covered, you can see that it's uh, it's coming on quite nicely. Chicken is cooked, it's getting a nice uh, crispy bit on the outside, the vegetables are cooking, it smells amazing. And if we have a look under here, oh yeah, the noodles are expanding, everything's going according to plan. That is bubbling away like mad. Mm mm mm, smells nice. So, 
So, the noodles are ready. Doing this one handed is going to be uh, fun. Seems like a waste of hot water somehow, but that's just the way it goes. Toss the emergency water out. Okay, put that in that bowl for two seconds. Get rid of the lid. Mm -mm -mm -mm. There we are. You're asking yourself, why didn't I cut up the chicken? Because that's not the way this recipe works. This recipe works different. Now, essentially the noodles are going to basically deglaze the pan for you. Pick up all of the burnt on soy sauce. I'm going to chuck a little more in for good flavor and we'll see you at the plating up stage. Gonna take two hands to do this. So, there you have it. Chicken and noodles, bad food blog. Um, celery, peppers, five Chinese spices, garlic, pepper, and a little touch of cayenne pepper with dark soy sauce. The chicken, mmm, it'll be so juicy inside, you won't believe it. And the whole thing's gonna taste great. Thank you very much for watching, and this has been Bad Food Blog. Please like this video. They don't seem to get any views. Is that because they're crap? I, I don't know, anyway, just please like the video. Thank you. Goodbye.